She turns it on, and it blows white dust on her face. She coughs and calls her husband to help her. He approaches and asks what happened. Meanwhile, a boy sees everything and starts to laugh at the woman. The woman tells her husband that it might be another Matthew's trick. The man sees Matthew trying to run away. He calls Matthew and asks why he did that. The boy says that he did it because that woman isn't his mother. The father chastises the boy and orders him to go to his room. The boy shouts and tells his father that he hates him. The boy goes to his room. He grabs his phone and he opens a picture of his family. He says that he's missing his actual mother. Meanwhile, the man tells his partner that he's sorry about the boy. The woman says that she understands because she had the same situation in her family. She instructs her partner to have a word with the boy. He agrees and walks to the boy's bedroom. He enters the boy's room and sees him using his mobile phone. The boy hurries to hide his phone. His father shouts, asking the boy why he's playing those tricks at Camilla's. The boy shouts and says that he's doing it because she is not his mom. The father says that he needs to understand that his mother is gone. He says that he doesn't want him to keep humiliating Camilla like that. He asks his son if he's clear about it. The boy agrees to stop pranking Camilla. The father orders the boy to follow him to the kitchen and say sorry to Camilla. The boy sits next to Camilla at the dinner table. His father tells him to do what he instructed him to do and leaves. The boy tells Camilla that he's sorry, still reluctant. Camilla says that it's alright because she's not there to replace his mother. She says that her real mother will always be his mother. She says that they should spend more time together as good friends. She invites them to go to the cinema. The partner says that it's an excellent idea. The boy says that he can't because he has a lot of homework to do. The woman says that she can help him with the homework so they can go to the cinema. The boy says that he can do it himself. His father looks at him, disappointed with his behavior. Embarrassed, the woman says that he needs to leave because she has important stuff to do. The man tries to convince her to stay. He says that she should be upset with the boy's rudeness towards her. The boy throws water at her while she's distracted. She goes to the kitchen with her partner. He says that he's sorry for the boy's behavior again. The father, angry, orders the boy to say sorry to the woman again. The boy, angry, says that he won't say anything. He says that he hates him and blames him for being responsible for the divorce. The father tells his son that he needs to understand that that woman is his partner now. Angry, the boy runs away from home. As soon as he leaves, he is hit by a car while he is desperately trying to cross the road. The father hears the boy shouting outside. He calls the boy's name and runs outside. Later, at the hospital, the desolated father cries, feeling guilty about the accident. His partner tries to comfort him. The boy's mother arrives and asks what happened to her son. The father says that it was all his fault. He says that they had a discussion, and the boy became upset and tried to run away from home. And sadly, he was hit by a car. The mother gets on her knees and says that she can't lose her sweet boy. The father says that all they can do now is wait. Moments later, the doctor invites Matthew's parents inside. The boy's stepmother waits outside. The parents enter the room. The boy, having recovered his consciousness, sees his mother and says that he's sorry for what happened. The mother says that he mustn't feel sorry because they're the ones who made some apologies. The mother says that they want to explain what happened between him and his mother. The father says that he still likes his mother, but not in the same way he used to. Meanwhile, the stepmother spies on the conversation. The father says that he likes his mother, but they just can't live together anymore. The mother says that she likes his dad, but Camilla also loves his father, and that doesn't mean that Camilla is going to replace her. Camilla decides to enter. She approaches the boy, and he says that he's sorry for everything and says that he just didn't understand what was going on. Camilla puts her hands on his hair and says that it's alright, and she's glad he's okay now. The boy says that he now understands what happened and says that he's very sorry for trying to humiliate her like he did. 